Movie ratings are supposed to help protect viewers from inappropriate content, right? You be guy, yay, But how does the ratings board decide what's appropriate and what happens if they're biased? In particular, why does it seem like ratings are so much more strict when it comes to Willem Dafoe related sex as opposed to Willem Dafoe related violence? Under our current rating system, it's okay for an unaccompanied minor to see Willem Dafoe killing people with pumpkin bombs as the Green Goblin and Spider-Man. But at the same time, Willem Dafoe making love to Madonna in Body of Evidence earns the harshest possible rating of NC-17. The Motion Picture Association of America has a strict rating system that determines which films are suitable for certain audiences, but the association tacked on the fairly family-friendly rating of PG-13 to Speed 2, despite relatively graphic scenes of Willem Dafoe violence. Time and time again, movies with even a brief Willem Dafoe sex scene get slapped with an R rating, or worse. Do we really think it's worse for our children to see Willem Dafoe openly depicting human sexuality than brutally murdering dozens of people? What does it say about American culture that we choose to shelter our kids from even brief Willem Dafoe nudity while at the same time exposing them to gratuitous Willem Dafoe violence? If the purpose of ratings is to ensure that young people don't copy inappropriate things they see Willem Dafoe do on screen, Maybe it's time we thought a little more about exactly which Willem Dafoe we'd rather have them emulate. For The Onion, I'm Sean Ditko.